Hi, welcome to the HW Tech Team tutorial. Today, I will be covering how to use integers in, in, and double in C Sharp. As I spoke in my first application in C Sharp, how to develop a Hello World application, today I will be covering our next tutorial, which is our second tutorial in how to use integers and double in C Sharp. So, our first task. Let's go to Windows and select Windows Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2010 Express Edition. By just clicking our Microsoft 2010 Express Edition, we have this new window, which is going to be containing our first project. We can create our new project by just selecting New Project or going to File and then selecting New Project. Then, as you can see, we have a lot of choices, but today we will be working with console applications. Let's select console application and then let's give our name, integers. Integers 2, I give it because I reuse this class. So then, after we input our name for our program, as you can see, we have our main function included and our class name included, unlike Java. Right now, as you can see in the top, we are having this library, which is going to be useful for us for our future use. And the compiler will recognize our programming, so it will not give errors as output, unlike unless we do something wrong all right as I spoke I will be covering how to use integers and double in C chart I will be showing you how to add multiply divide and subtract in C chart C chart is the same as Java programming language but some of our coding and syntax change as you can see variables are the same integer stands for int let's give two variable name x which is going to be assigned 10 comma y which is going to be assigned 20 so we have our first two variable x and y now let's declare a double variable x1 and y1 let's do the following double stand for double and it's gonna be holding any number which is can be irrational like 1.5 2.2 it's just pi let's give x1 holding 10.5 Let's give a comma and then y is going to be holding 20.5. Alright, we have our first four variables. But we need two extra variables, which is going to be holding the sum, subtraction, division, and multiplication of our variables. Let's declare integer total, which is going to be assigned 0 as the starting argument, and double total 1 which is going to be assigned as 0 as our starting arguments then after we develop our main variable which is going to be global we need to do the following we are going to implement our coding as you saw in our tutorial we are going to be using the output console the right line it is basically the same function in Java. You use system that out the print line in C You use C out and in assembly language we use call write string or call write desk. But as you can see, we use in console the right line. This is another new object for C sharp. Let's output this information. Hey, welcome to the HW 
tech team tutorial. All right. Now our coding begin. Dora, which is integer, is gonna be assigned x plus y plus. Then, after we do the total, which is our addition, let's output our addition. Let's do the following: console that right line. The sum of close quotation plus the plus operator will be allowing us to input another variable or another argument after of. Let's input our x. You know where x comes from. X is our variable that we declare globally. X will be holding a number, and the number is 10. So, the sum of X, let's do the plus sign again. Open quotation and put plus sign. All right. As you can see, in this section, we don't have quotation. But in this section, we do have quotation. When you put quotation, that means that this variable, which is inside here, or the operator plus, will be passing as an argument for the output. Let's put y, which is our next variable, holding 20. Then let's put the plus sign again, open quotation, and then put equal sign, close quotation. Then let's use the plus again to add another conjunction, which is going to be the total, holding x plus y, which is going to be the answer, 30. All right, our first task is already done. Our second task, let's use total one. As a double, let's use x1 plus y1. Right here, x1 is our variable, which is double, and it's holding 10.5. Then we're reusing the Y1. As you can see, we have different names. Different names. I guess you understand what I said. Y is integer. And Y1 is a double. So they are not the same variable. Get on mind that. So... Right now, let's do the following task. Let's copy this section up. And let's paste it. Right now, we have the following. The sum of x plus y. Let's change x as x1 and y as y1. And the total at total 1. Now, let's do the following. Console that read key in this part by just typing console that read key we just gonna be and uh, when we compile our program and we run our program our program will be standing still till we press enter so when we press enter our program will close let me give a comment so that you guys keep in mind All right, let's just build build solution. Our build succeed, then debug or just press the run. As you can see, our program is outputting. Hey, welcome to the HW Tech Team tutorial. The song of 10 plus 20 is steady. The song of 10 plus 0.5 plus 20.5 is 31 as you can see the answer is true
Now, after we have our problem, let's cover our next function. How to subtract, how to divide, and how to multiply for integers and double arguments. Let's press enter and our program cross. Right here we're doing the following. Let's update total. Total, we're gonna be assigned x minus y. Let me just output this so you guys never confuse. Console that right line the integers section now we are covering subtraction let's just copy this part and paste it over here let's change this argument as subtraction the sub which stands for subtraction x Let's change this argument as minus, and then the total will be staying the same since we update, update our action in this section. So we have our subtraction section. Let's do the multiplication section. Total will be assigned x times y. By just pressing x times y, we're gonna be inputting our output the same as we did at the before that. Let's change this section, the multiplication of x, change this sign to multiplication operator, and then the total will be still the same. Now let's cover the division. Total will be assigned x divided by y. Let's paste our code and then the division, division of x, change this argument as divided by, will be equal to total. Alright, we have our functions for integers. Now, let's compile our program. Build, build solution. Our build succeed. Now let's run our program. As you can see in this part, we are covering the sum of 10 plus 20 is 30. The subtraction of 10 minus 20 is negative 10. The multiplication of 10 times 20 is 200. And the division of 10 over 20 is 0. Why is 0? because we don't have any double arguments to output so it will not be given us irrational arguments it will be zero point dot 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 we don't know the answer and we did not let the compiler to know the answer now let's do the following let's update our action in this section as you can see Total is x divided by y. If you put y divided by x, we're gonna have our next answer, which is gonna be outputting one. Let's build and run our program. As you can see, the division of 10 divided by 20 is 2, it's not. We forgot to change x and y. Let's flip x and y. Let's put y in this section and let's put x in this section. And then let's build our program and then we run our program. Let's run our program again. As you can see, the division of 20 divided by 10 is 2. It's giving our whole number, which is really, and the answer is correct. In this section, we have integer sections. Now let's cover the double section. Let's give a new line. Consult that right line as new line, and then let's give another new line. Consult 
the right line the double session right now we have total 1 x1 one plus y1 which is the sum let's use the following total 1 is gonna be assigned x1 minus y1 We do the sub a subtraction of x. Let's change these arguments as minus. And then we use total 1. Which is already updating the other action. Now, after we use our subtraction section, let's use the multiplication section. Which is going to be total 1 assigned x1 times y1. Then we output the console, the right line, the multiplication of x multiplied by y. We got total 1, which is already updated in this section. Now after we use our multiplication, let's use our division. Don't forget to change the variable to x1 and y1 total 1 is gonna be assigned x1 divided by y1 as you saw at the beginning let's see if our output is correct let's you consult the right line the division of x1 divided by y1 is equal to other one now let's build our program build solution then after we select build solution let's start debugging as you can see right now the integer section the sum of 10 plus 20 is 30 the subtraction of 10 minus 20 is negative 10 the multiplication of 10 times 20 is 200. And the division of 10 divided by 10 is 2. Point D, in, his, in this section, as you can see, the double section, the sum of 10.5 plus 20.5 is 31. The subtraction of 10.5 minus 20.5 is equal 10. Then, the multiplication of 10.5 times 20.5 is 215.25 and the division of 10.5 divided by 20.5 is equal 0 0.512 as you can see it gives us our numbers after 0 unlike when we use integer so remember when we you gonna use irrational number with any argument after the point you need to use double instead of integers Keep on mind. I hope today's tutorial was really helpful for you. Sorry if I'm mistaken in all the sections, but I try to do my best and make the tutorial clear for everyone. Thank you for watching HW Tech Team. I see you in our next tutorial.